How is that funny? He didn't even tell any jokes. Uh, if he didn't tell jokes, why was he laughing? I could do stand-up comedy. All I'd need is a newspaper and this twisted mind. I feel like we should wait to hear Adele's ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. Who's Adele? I, I think I'm going to put together a real act for real people. Pfft, good luck. Where the hell's Peter? I'm almost done doing the 45 minutes of stuff a woman my age needs to do right before bed. But I'm not going to brush my teeth and I'm going to fart super hot. Oh my god, what happened to your side of the bed? Uh, hey, who handles multimedia here? Because uh, I have a slide of the Capitol building that I'd like projected behind me. All right, thanks. Hey, sorry I was late getting here tonight. I was caught in gridlock, and then I left Congress. You know, maybe it's me, but I kind of feel like we should wait to hear Adele's ex-boyfriend songs before we choose sides. <laughs> wow, this is easier than getting your jet ski license. You passed. Here's your license. Go be a dick. Peter, our mattress is a disaster. We're buying a new one today. Does that mean I can skip work? Well, it's 2.45, so I guess yes. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! You're the expert. What kind of mattress do you have? Currently, I'm staying with a friend on an air mattress in his laundry room. Also, I like to eat a big bowl of berries before I go to sleep. What's it called? Deep Slumber 3000. You're buying it on Amazon, aren't you? Yep, they have drones now. So I was wondering why this tampon commercial was so long until I realized it was a rerun of Sex in the City. <laughs> you, you, uh, you caught the show? You bloody thief! Every joke you told up there was stolen from me! I have nothing to say to you, Brian. Besides, I'm busy playing with my new friend. What new friend? <laughs> He's a human mind model adaptive supercomputer. I've even programmed him to learn and grow smarter. His name is Lyle. You built a robot? This is pathetic, Stewie. You really must be desperate for friends. Hey, this whole thing is more disturbing than a dump after a beet salad. Ah! Oh, right. I guess what I'm saying is time to break in the new mattress, eh? Peter, it's brand new. I don't want to mess it up. Are you serious? We can't do it? For how long? I don't know. Let, let's just keep it new for a few weeks. A few weeks? We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! <laughs> I'm going to bed. Yeah. Hello, fellow adult. I am clearly above the minimum height requirement and shall now ride your roller coaster for which you are an attendant. Thank you, Stewie. I drew you something as well. It's an urban plan for a workable Palestinian state. I'm very proud of you and your progress. You, my friend, are the greatest invention since the Trapper Creeper. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I guess I'm just a little on edge. I'm not getting any from Lois, because we got this new mattress and Lois doesn't want to mess it up. If Lois won't sleep with you on the new mattress, we just got to get your old mattress back. Oh my god, Quagmire, that's a great idea. You can just give them your phone number. Oh, really? Hey, thanks, man. Hey, Meg, I like your new boyfriend. What's going on here? Hello, Stewie. I've built a few friends for myself. Stewie, I'm afraid I no longer have time for a friend of your simple ways. I must ask you to leave. Yes, I'm sorry it took me so long, but I got the garlic blue cheese salad dressing you wanted. Does that mean I'm in the crew now? There, I did it. We're friends now, right? Maybe. How about you throw it all up back into the bottle, but don't spill a drop. Peter, what are we doing here? I thought we were looking for your mattress. We are. This is a 1950s insane asylum. Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Hey, I bet that's it. Get up, lady, that's my mattress. Oh my god, Bruce, you do porn? We did get another one yesterday, but some fat ass blew out half the springs, so we put lunch on it. That's it? Just a bunch of blueberries? Ah, two dogs humping! Ah, uh, this was worth the four-hour flight. What are you doing on the toilet with the lid closed? Ted R. says this is where a piece of crap has to live. This is terrible. Stewie, you gotta put a stop to this. I mean, you made them. You can destroy them. And what do you say you and I, we take these robots out? Peter, what is that? This, Lois, is our old mattress. This mark here is from where we conceived Meg. Over here was Chris. And all the way up here was Stewie. Oh, oh, Peter. Yeah, I want to do you right where the porn lunch was. Intelligent and getting smarter by the minute. 
I designed them to be constantly adapting. It's done. I sprayed them with a the hose. You know, I'm glad we're keeping our old mattress. Sometimes newer isn't better. Yeah. Stewie, I really am sorry about what happened. Well, don't mention it. I'm just glad to have the whole mess behind us. How can this not be a trap? Brian, you're still watching TV? God, you've been sitting there since I left. Hey, can you hand me the remote? You know, you've been laying around the house a lot lately. Mom, guess what? I just found out I got that internship at Mayor West's office. Wow, congratulations, Meg. Uh, mosquito. Bite. Mosquito. Bite. Mosquito. Bite. Bite. Mosquito. Aha! You are a worthy opponent indeed. Honey, I'm so proud of you. You see, Brian, Meg has a job. Brian's the new Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Lois, I don't want to ruin your morning, but I flushed a diaper and it's a mess up there. You driving a cab? Around the park one more time, Bitterman. Peter, I'm not your chauffeur. Not for long with that attitude, Bitterman. Hey, look, there's Lois. Yeah. Hey, honk the horn. Oh, hi, Peter. You could have killed me! Yeah, but I got you good, Lois. Admit it. Oh, all right, you got me. <laughs> Don't y'all forget to sign up for the Coho Community Talent Show. Talent show? Oh, Peter, that could be fun. G G G G G G G G G G G G G Well, Lois, I thought you and me could do a song for the talent show. It could be just like the old days when we used to play. You remember, Lois? You know, it would be fun to write some new songs. You know what else is fun? Watching Mr. Belvedere without people talking so loud. Milk? Yeah, I'll pick some up at the end of my shift. I should really pick up that milk now before I forget. You son of a bitch! What the hell? Four hundred dollars? My god, this is a bigger ripoff than Peter's Sounds of the Rainforest CD. <laughs> Hey, Meg, I need to see the mayor about this $400 parking ticket. Brian, you can't just barge in here. You have to make an appointment. He's a corrupt bastard. That is not true. Yes, it is. Somebody's got to stand up and prove to this town that he's a crook. <laughs> Perhaps it was the Noid who should have avoided me. Where are you going? I'm going to expose Mayor West as the corrupt politician that he is. Ooh, scandal in Quahog. Count me in. You'll understand if I don't come out from the shadows. My identity will be safest if you never see my face. Uh, okay. But I guess there'd be a lot of tubes. Well, that wasn't very good. Uh, we're never gonna win that talent show. Come on, we can't give up on our goals. What if Jesus had done that? <laughs> Not gonna get to! <laughs> I don't know, some proof of Mayor West's corruption. Whoa, 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 whoa what, what the hell are you guys doing here? You know, yeah, we're, but we're, we're here. here to go to work. We've been called, and that's why we're here. You know what? I tell you, how about you just turn around and walk away? No, huh? I don't think so. Still trying to smear my boss? No, no, no. I, I actually came to my senses and realized I was out of line. Uh, I'm just here to apologize. Aha! The mayor's date book. This should tell us what we want to know. All we need is one incriminating entry in this date book, and that's our ticket to... Hey, Brian, what's up? Look how short Stewie is. Ah, he's so short. He is short. Ah, <laughs> uh, you two are busy being nude, so, um, we'll just, uh, head out and, uh... Well, this is the last entry in the date book. Super secret meeting at motel. Inform no one. I think we got him now. Well, what do you see? I see a grown man enjoying cartoons. <sighs> well, that's it then. Wait, 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 somebody's coming in. God, it's Meg! God, this is incredible. The mayor is dating a teenage intern, and it's Meg. What a story. Gosh, you're a swell, Meg. I really have a great time when I'm with you. Oh, Mayor West, I feel exactly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> great practice, Lois. We are totally ready for that talent show. Oh, my God, Peter, I am so wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor West keeps me pretty busy. Yeah, I noticed. <gasps> Where did you get that? I am going to the press with this story, and when it hits, It'll be bigger than Uncle Sam's nipples. Jeez, what the hell? My dog is going to expose our relationship to the press. Well, so what? 
You and I know that we haven't done anything wrong. Well, Meg, I'm a public figure. I'm used to the tabloid's duty. It's you I'm worried about. You're just a sweet young lady with her whole life ahead of her. Goodbye, Meg. I'll always value your friendship. I love you, Mayor Chapstick. <sighs> I got so caught up in taking down Mayor West that I just lost sight of right and wrong. Oh, thank you, Brian. Good evening, I'm Diane Simmons, and I'd like to welcome you to Quahog's fifth annual talent show. In God's eyes, everybody's hot. Picture the fattest chick you know. He do her all the way, even call her the next day to see how work was going. You guys were so baked, you didn't sound anywhere near as good as you thought you did. Trying to watch Mr. Belvedere. So my advice to the two- According to our new arrival, life is more than mere survival. Uh, where's the slide? Just eat this starburst. This cherry so juicy. I don't think that was a starburst. No going down head first and wait till I say it's okay. Go. Hey! Ew, Brian, what happened? Do you think you can help me out? Sure. My top came off on the slide. You put it in your shorts. Okay, well, here's my shorts. Just fish out the one that's yours. It was nice to meet you, Chris. You too. Enjoy the boobs of your morning. Afternoon! Enjoy the boobs of your afternoon. You maybe want to go out with me sometime? I don't think you'd want to go out with me. I have kids. Oh, wow. And a couple of cuties. I don't care that you have kids. Well, I'd still like to go out with you. Okay, you're on. Here's my number. Flight 427 to Philadelphia has been canceled. Yay! I'm having a really nice time with you. You are? Hey, Chris, where are you off to? Oh, Isabella's coming by, and we're going to take the kids to the park. Like, maybe she's got some city miles on a Vovo? Not to mention a couple of blowouts. <laughs> hey, Bri. Yup, I heard you. Oh, hello, Isabella. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. Mr. Griffin. Mr. Griffin's up here, sweetheart. You two have fun. She's hot. Yes, yeah, she is. I bit my lip off. Go away, Mr. Herbert! It's not me, I'm in your closet. I found out that I'm going to be deported. They're sending me back to Mexico in the morning. I didn't want to leave without saying goodbye. So, are you taking your boys back with you? I guess I have no choice. The whole reason I left Mexico was to give them a better life. You would really look after my kids for me? Of course I would. You're a wonderful man, Chris Griffin. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'm gonna call you Juan. And I'm going to call you, too. Good. He's been reading the book. Uh, Dad, you're reading the paper upside down. Wrong again, idiot. And she just left her babies with you? Well, just until she can come back. Chris, are you crazy? Look, I made a promise to Isabella, and I'm going to keep it. These two need to eat. He bought a breastfeeding book. Someone may want to pop in on him. I say you let him try. Trust me, one day of watching those kids, and he'll want them out of here. <sighs> All right, fine. That'll be $500. Ah, well, sorry, kids. Looks like we're going to go to Jersey Mike's and hope that future science will save us. Isabella no can come back. Stuck in Mexico. The babies, they stay here. What? You got to take them. How can I take them when I was never here? I'm doing a great job. I love Isabella, and I love her kids. Chris, you're living in a dreamland. How are you going to support two babies? If Isabella can't get here to take her kids back, we'll just have to bring them to her. All right, we're off to Mexico. If you kids are good, we'll bring you back a tangled marionette. Is it going to be a long trip, Dad? Nah, not too bad. Chris, are you sure this is Isabella's village? My babies! Isabella, I missed you so much. Hi, Chris, I missed you too. No place for Isabella to raise a family. We'll just have to smuggle her and her babies back in. Mrs. Griffin, you would take the risk of smuggling me and my children across the border? But you could be arrested. I realize that. What about Quagmire? He could probably get his hands on a plane. Oh, that's actually a great idea. Uh-oh, somebody's coming. Now, now, hold on, hold on. I put my business card in a fishbowl at an El Torito. This could be about that. We're not arresting you. We're taking your plane. Get their keys and take their SUV. 
Boy, I can't believe there'd be corrupt cops in Mexico. Yeah, Donald Trump was right. His daughter is a hot piece of ass. Get out of here! You leave them alone! Wow, did you see how Chris took care of those kids? Up till now, the only thing he could take care of was my traffic tickets. Oh, this is awful. Chris is injured and we're completely out of food and water. Time for clean getaway. How did you find us? Baby's hearing have chip. So, wait, so we walked right across the border and didn't even know it? That is a problem, right? And thanks for taking us on that little detour to Dollywood. Was I right or was I right? Yep, totally worth the extra two days. You risked your life for those babies. Well, I didn't want them to get hurt. Because you care about them, just like you care about Isabella. Thanks for trusting me to figure it out for myself. I love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetheart. I'm too young to be taking on this much responsibility. I understand. But I know someday you will make an incredible father. <laughs>